very recently, especially after the unfortunate passing of Joan Rivers, we got a couple of people who wrote to us and said they're really afraid of anesthesia and the risks that come with sedation versus anesthesia. I wanted to address that issue. It's a really important question for us. And, uh, whenever anyone has a complication related to surgery or anesthesia, it's a terrible tragedy. And especially when it comes to doing an elective surgery like rhinoplasty, for us, we feel an even greater responsibility to make sure that safety is number one concern. Yeah, you know, generally speaking, we tell most patients that it's really important that in our surgery center, the person who's doing your anesthesia is a board-certified anesthesiologist. For us, we've really handpicked a couple of people who we work with all the time, and they're the same people who we trust our own family. My mom, your family, when they've had surgery here, that we trust them with our own family, and it's really important to have that sense of confidence and comfort with those people. The whole process, really, starting from before surgery is a really important part of that. Based on your age, your medical history, what medications you might be on, any family history of problems with anesthesia, your surgeon and the anesthesiologist can best kind of prepare and make sure that you're in the best situation, uh, whether it's outpatient or in a hospital, to be able to have surgery safely. A really important statistic is that when we're looking at anesthesia in general for otherwise young, healthy people, you're about 12 times safer having general anesthesia than you are driving your car on any given day here in Los Angeles. So not to minimize the risk associated with anesthesia and surgery, we always give that the respect it deserves, but from the general perspective, for an otherwise healthy person, the risk is extremely small. Yeah, so the key is really to make sure that your surgeon understands your health industry, your health history, um, that you have the ability to talk to the anesthesiologist if you have any questions or concerns about what you're actually undergoing, and then really talk about the differences between sedation and general anesthesia. In our own personal preference, we like to have our patients under general anesthesia, specifically because it protects the airway, and through the whole procedure, we know that that's going on.